You may have heard by now that there is a pretty big vulnerability within a Mac OS High Sierra that essentially causes uh, anyone to gain administrator access just by uh, typing in root instead of the username and hitting return twice to get authentication. Now the good news is that there is a pretty straightforward and quick fix for this. It just it means you have to enable root user and create a password and then you're essentially safe from this vulnerability. Uh, so before Apple pushes the update, it's a good idea to do this. So I'll, I'll walk you through the steps right now. The first thing you want to do is go into system preferences. Okay, and you want to be logged in as an administrator. So essentially any user on the computer aside from like a guest user or a standard user. All right, once you're in system preferences, we're going to open up users and groups. You're going to click on the little lock here and type in your regular uh, login password. Okay, from here, you're going to go into the login options on the bottom left here. Okay, and now you're going to see the option that says network account server join. Okay, and then you're going to open the directory utility. And then from here, once again, we're going to click on the little lock. And we're going to type uh, same password. Okay, and now we're going to go up to the top menu that says uh, edit. And we're going to enable the root user. Okay, if you already have the root user enabled, you can just change the password. Okay, uh, essentially, this uh, kind of uh, vulnerability only occurs if you don't have the root user ena enabled with a password already. So what we're doing right now is for everyone who is affected by this, we're just going to enable the root user account and create a password, therefore eliminating the vulnerability. And you know, you can disable the root user at some point later, but there's really no harm in having root enabled, uh, you know, unless somebody else knows the password, but you don't have to worry about that. So we're just going to create a new password for the root user. And there you go. Uh, now that you've actually changed uh, the root password and you've enabled the root user, you're no longer going to be affected by this. So if uh, someone tries to uh, come into here and replace this with root and then just you know leave the password field blank, hit unlock, hit unlock, it's not going to work. Okay, so that's essentially the way to protect yourself, kind of fix this uh, up until Apple releases the um, uh, patch or kind of update for this to Mac OS High Sierra. So you don't have to uh, kind of, you know, panic. And I know that the media and everybody's gonna make a huge deal about this, but it's a really quick fix and, you know, as they say, uh, stuff happens. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's a shame that, you know, this came came to light before they could fix it, but uh, it is what it is. So, you know that there's a fix. All you have to do is just uh, enable root and create a password. So once they release this update, uh, once they release the update, you can go ahead, go back in here and disable the root user. In any case, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.